hello only beautiful people allow me to introduce you to one of my favorite artists Robin Mead she's an American independent and self-representing artist she's known as a contemporary artist because she's making creating and selling her work today she's known for her landscape paintings that contain bright vivid colors swirling lines and patterns she likes to create art to promote joy and happiness in others as well as herself and her choice of colors explains just that her landscapes flowers and birds feature bold lines and bright punchy colors Mead worked as a social worker before going to art school but slowly she began spending more time creating which she says transformed her life in a positive way let's grab our materials and begin I'm starting with a 12 into 18 inch piece of white sulfide paper turned horizontal but you can use a paper larger or smaller than the, that. You're gonna fill the paper into thirds. Crease the folds with your thumb pressing strongly. Now folding it in third means fold the top third back behind the rest of the paper not exactly in the center. Reversing the fold direction to make an accordion fold. In an accordion fold, the paper will make a zigzag when you look at it from the top. Now if you have a bit of an edge extra like I do, it's okay, we can cut it off later. Unfold the paper, think about what you would like each section to include. Now we are going to make a landscape, so each layer should be a different scene. Trees, mountains, ocean, sky or anything that you can think of that represents a landscape. Now with a pencil, begin drawing horizon lines to represent the different layers of your landscape. Think about what a bumpy, wavy, zigzag or curved line could represent. The right section will be the tallest section. So start near the top or start from the lowest section which is the left section. Completely your choice. When you reach the fold, make a vertical line so the middle section will be shorter than the left section. The different types of lines that you can play with are straight, vertical lines, horizontal lines, diagonal lines. You can go wavy or a scallop. You're the artist, so it's completely your choice. You can go zigzag curvy think about all the things you can do with all these lines you can go dashed line you can make small dashes and large dashes you can do curvy lines curved you can do dotted lines you can do broken lines you can also do a chevron you can do spirals crisscrosses there are so many different varieties to choose from and to experiment with. Now draw the line of your choice for the middle, then travel down again at the fold, finish with the right section, which will be the lowest section. After you are happy with what you have drawn, let's cut along the lines. Fold to check your sections. If they are too similar, you can trim one or more to make the layers more pronounced. I am happy with my lines, so I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting them. Now, when you are cutting your lines, be sure to be very careful while cutting them. It looks like I'm cutting it very fast, but I have sped up the video. So, I like to do my work carefully using good craftsmanship skills. After you're happy with the lines, Put them on each other, checking the folds to see if your sections are okay, if they're not too similar. Then using a waterproof black marker, begin drawing the landscape. You can do birds, trees, waves, anything that you like. You can also check Robin's work and see if you want to pick elements from there and add in your own creation. Start with the shortest section. This will be the foreground or the area that is closest to the viewer. Objects in the foreground will be large since they are close to the viewer. So I'm going to go ahead and use some spiral lines to draw waves. 
you can do like me or you can do you it's completely up to you after I'm done with my foreground I'm gonna check if this is what I want and then go ahead and align it with the middle ground that's where I'm gonna start drawing the middle ground for the middle ground or middle section flip the paper over to draw if you need to refold the paper to check that you're on the right side that's okay Robin Mead uses thick lines in her artwork to create contrast and emphasis to create thick bold lines simply draw a line next to your original line and fill in the space in between I'm gonna go ahead and draw some mountains here now I have used zigzag lines but you do you you can change them or you can add some flowers or maybe a dolphin or whatever you like for the final section the background flip the paper over once again the drawing for foreground and background will be on the same side when you open the accordion as you can see here I'm cutting off the extra bit that I got when I folded my paper into third so it's okay whenever we make a mistake we can create something beautiful out of it no need to panic now because the background is farthest away from the viewer objects will be smaller than the other section I'm gonna go ahead and create a horizon and make a curvy line to create Sun just like uh, Robin does in most of her paintings so making some vertical lines and then I'm gonna go ahead and add patterns by using a variation of different lines inside the sun rays in the waves in the mountains just to add a bit of more beauty in my work so either you can go ahead straight and start coloring a landscape or you can add patterns and different lines to create variety in your artwork now I'm gonna go ahead and color my creation using watercolors because that's what the Robin Mead is famous for she uses watercolors to do her artwork but you can color in your landscape with any coloring media that you have available you can do it with a wide variety of materials crayons markers colored pencils or a combination of several materials color each section a different color so each layer will stand out against each other now I'm going to use warm colors to color at the top like me does she uses warm colors and then she mixes them with cool colors so you can either follow along with me or you do you and change your landscape entirely then again I have sped up the video while I was watercoloring but you take your time give love care and attention to your artwork because hey you're the artist Sometimes after you finish painting you realize when you fold your scenery there is some areas that you missed coloring That's okay. You can always go back and fill them in Now I feel like I want to add some implied texture in my drawing So I'm gonna go ahead and take a crayon and add more lines in my artwork But this step is completely optional if you want to add more texture go ahead and add more lines you can use the same color or you can use complementary colors contrasting colors to create more beautification in your artwork set it on a tabletop or shelf to display your layered landscape have fun <laughs> 